today I am back with a thrift haul. Now, you guys know me probably already and you know that I don't do haul videos that much on this channel. And the reason is very simple. I don't buy that much stuff to justify haul videos in the first place. But there is a fairly new secondhand mega store here in Berlin and there's a very cool concept behind it. And I really wanna share this with you because I think the idea and the project itself is really cool. So I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. And also, and especially because it's holiday season and not only because it's holiday season and not only during holiday season pretty much all year round but especially right now when consumerism may reach levels <laughs> that we cannot even imagine why don't we normalize secondhand as a way of acting thinking doing why don't we normalize secondhand gifts? Why don't we normalize secondhand home decor, even in special occasions like gift giving, gatherings? I am someone who tries to pursue eco-minimalism as a mindset and as a lifestyle. And because of this, I try to be very mindful about the possessions that I own and the things that I buy, how I buy them, why I buy them. And I know that I have options. Amazon Prime is not the only way. I don't want to become a part of that system where clicking on the add to cart button and get it delivered on the next day on my doorstep is the only way to consume and to act as a person and a consumer. And I want to get the message out there. You do have options. I made a video about overconsumption and how you can stop buying useless crap fairly recently and I want to hopefully inspire you all to consider options because you do have options. Shopping has become so fast recently and that constant need for new things more often than not is hiding something behind it. Probably there are unprocessed feelings that you have. I refuse to be part of that system um, and I want to encourage you all to do the same. Secondhand can be a brilliant way to think, act, consume and it's just beneficial for everyone. It's just a fantastic way of creating and supporting that circular economy that is so just wonderful, so dynamic and so unique and various. That's the message I want to get out there with my little thrift haul today. A couple of weeks ago, before everything shut down here in Berlin, we had the chance to go and visit this secondhand mega store, which is called Nochmal. The very cool thing about this specific um, thrift store is that it is owned and managed by BSR, which is one of the local waste management companies. I think that's fantastic. And the store itself is gigantic. They have an insane range of products. It's You can find from furniture to sport equipment to toys, clothes, books, um, knickknacks for your home, Christmas decor. You can find a whole bunch of different things. And I still got the receipt. Everything I'm about to show you and talk to you about was 26 euros 50, which is around 30 dollars american dollars we found some very interesting and unique bits and bobs now that we do have a cat we realized pretty quickly that it's very much not recommended um, to leave cords cables and chargers unattended because no matter what the cat is going to consider those cords and cables and chargers um, as you know, wow, it's playtime. After my cat just literally destroyed my headphones, I knew that we needed to find a solution. So we found uh, this very spacious wicker basket and we keep it on this top shelf up there where all of our cords, cables, chargers of every sort is going to be stored. Now, it's very unlikely that our cat is going to be able to climb up there, but even if she does, everything is organized in a way that it is not in 
plain sight all the time so she, it won't be exposed all the time so it's very unlikely that she is going to constantly be climbing up there and playing with our cords. Now speaking of cats uh, we wanted to find some kind of little toy. We found this very cute um, stuffed animal. It's an elephant. She absolutely loves it. Pet care, cat care or animal care in general can easily be done in a more eco-conscious way without compromising the well-being and the health of your animal. And getting stuff essentials secondhand is a great way to do that. Now I'm working on a video on eco-friendly cat care so if you got any questions, comments or things that you would like me to cover in this upcoming video drop me a comment below. I don't know if it's a lockdown thing but we managed to break a few things in the kitchen. Uh, we needed some new wine glasses and we found beautiful wine glasses. They were one euro each. Not even Ikea is this cheap people. So that's the cool thing about buying things secondhand. Uh, you can find some brilliant, fantastic pieces. It doesn't get any cheaper than this. And it's fantastic to be able to welcome people in your house or even welcome yourself in your house every time you walk into it uh, in a house that is telling a story because you got unique pieces um, that are telling a story and telling something about yourself. I wasn't specifically looking for clothes, but this specific item caught my eye and because I don't have a lot of summer appropriate pieces, I decided to why not add it to my wardrobe? It is this uh, short sleeved button down. It's very lightweight. It has neutral colors and it matches a lot of things in my wardrobe. Um, the cool thing about it is that it's slightly oversized. It seems very breathable. And not only it would look good in the summer with shorts and sandals and stuff, but also it can be easily layered up in the winter if I want to kind of have a quirky layered look, um, kind of an artsy type of outfit, uh, or at least this is how I imagined it. And I think it's a really good um, addition to my wardrobe. We're not tablecloths people. We don't like tablecloths, but what we do like is having um, reusable placemats for us, for our guests and we found a set of four of gorgeous and beautifully unique denim placing mats. They even have the little pocket for your cutlery or for your napkin. We had this beautiful print that we got years ago. We needed a new picture frame to frame it and to put it on our wall on this little bit of a gallery wall section in our living room and we found this wooden picture frame. It fits the print and its colors perfectly and I think it looks lovely with the rest of the things that we hung on our wall. Again, speaking of kitchen items, we don't have a very large kitchen so we need to maximize the space as much as we can. We had a mismatch of cups in our house and they were taking up a lot of space. Some of them we weren't really using them. We found these three beautiful sets of cup and little plate. They are this gorgeous shade of blue. They are easily stackable, so we can maximize the space and we still have something very pretty that we can use ourselves every single day or whenever we will, we will be able to invite people over. And I think they pair super, super well with our denim placing mats. So I was very excited about this specific find. Finally, let's not forget it. It's Christmas after all, people. So we um, browsed the Christmas decor section. We were looking for an advent calendar. They had a whole bunch. Um, we couldn't find something that would match our requirements or something that we were particularly liking. What we did find is this adorable, I think it's adorable, penguin that we decided to hang on our door to, you know, get a little bit of that Christmas spirit out there. Now, these are our thrift finds. I hope you have found this video inspiring or entertaining at the very least. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking around. I will see you in my next video. Bye.